It is six in the morning, and today in the game barn, we have games to buy, sell, maybe even trade. And honestly, guys, I just want to take you through a full day of what a day in the game barn looks like in 2024. And thanks to XYAB, the sponsor of this channel. They're a business-to-business -business video game accessory supplier. We love them and use them frequently in our business. And if you're selling video games, you can use our link in the description for $50 off your first order of 100 bucks or more. So again, if you've seen any of our videos on the main channel, Chase Out to the Right Price, or this one, you know we have big plans for 2024, um, some of which involves buying more and selling more. Uh, pretty, pretty simple. But we have a few different ways that we're going to do that. And you guys will be seeing things as we kind of unravel new things as they're uh, released. But we are buying more collections and paying more. So I have two small collections right here or just small sales. Uh, also, I'm working on selling stuff in the back end. So we recently bought this sealed Game Boy collection from Norway. Shout out to Kristoff if you're watching this. P appreciate you. Um, but these three are like the three biggest ticket items from that collection, and I have multiple pe people interested. So I sent them pictures, and a lot of these are going to be put up in the um, January 19th Giant Whatnot auction. So for our Whatnot information, you can bookmark that down below, Chase underscore ATRP on Whatnot. Link in description for $15 credit if you don't have Whatnot yet. And bookmark that show, guys. It's going to be crazy during the day, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, January 19th. But some of this stuff I'll be okay with selling before because we won't even have time to sell every single item that I'll be getting in. So I'm gonna unbox these collections momentarily, but I also wanna show you guys, um, you know, we put out, or we're putting out some videos of this stuff here, these controllers and accessories and everything. Um, so that is craziness, all of this stuff. We gotta figure out ways to sell that. Uh, we have a whatnot auction today uh, in about five hours at 11 a.m. So yeah, five hours from now. We got a lot of work to do to prepare for that. So just gonna kind of walk through the whole day, you know, buying a lot, selling a lot. It's craziness around here in 2024. And I'm gonna bring you guys with us. And hit the like button. Al Pal is returning today. He's been gone for uh, three weeks. Uh, new father. Uh, amazing baby boy. I'm very excited to have Alpel back. So he's actually, uh, usually if you're selling a collection, he's the first person uh, that you'll interact with on email. Um, I still handle a lot of them occasionally, but um, we have our margins and our percentages all kind of dialed in and um, Alpel handles a lot of that, does a great job and usually gets it to me for final approval uh, on making deals happen. And we have a ton in the inbox uh, in the email, so excited for him to start getting back going on that. So you guys might be hearing from us very soon. Uh, and then Instagram, I've also sealed a few deals myself there recently. And, um, you know, a couple people saw that we're paying more for stuff and reached out, people that we've done deals with in the past. And uh, we're going to make some deals with them. And working on building the January 19th uh, shelf. So we got a lot of Pokemon up top, GameCube. Beautiful black box NES games, complete in box NES games, and then consoles kind of down below. But we want that shelf to be full, packed of high-end, amazing stuff for that January 19th auction. We have a lot of stuff incoming and a lot more deals to be had very, very soon. Uh, and hopefully some of the stuff that I unboxed today that you guys will see will go on that shelf as well. So let's unbox those collections. All right, let's get to this first collection. I believe this individual reached out via email. And I can't even remember what is going to be included in this one. But, so you guys will see with me. Hey, Caterpie Crew, you guys are incredible. I love the videos and the inspiration you provide. Hope the holidays are great and wish you the best in 2024. I also hope you make some decent money from this collection. I uh, gave the price charting user and name for the information we need. John, thank you for sending this collection and for the kind words. All right, everything is in bubble wrap. It looks like we got some box NES, SNES, uh, and stuff like that. So I'll get it unbubble wrapped and we'll see everything we got here. Wonderful packing job out of John. So we got some amazing games here. This collection was way better than I remembered it was going to be. Uh, but we have Mario 3 complete. Tiny Toon Adventures, and this one still has like the partial seal around it. I mean, open with precision, amazing stuff. Super Mario 2. Complete everything, pretty much everything is complete, which is incredible. Tom and Jerry, 
Uh, pretty nice right there. Cubert 3, and that one has some of the seal around it. You've got Super Mario All-Stars, a thing of beauty. This one is unbelievable condition. Michael Andretti's IndyCar Racing. Muppet Adventure Chaos at the Carnival. Super Play Action Football, just a beautiful condition box. Tiny Toon Adventures 2. You've got Tiny Toon Buster Bus Loose. Star Fox, love seeing that complete. Super Mario Kart, check that out. Lots of heavies in here. Mario, uh, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Lethal Weapon, pretty uncommon. Um, Super Nintendo Cleaning Kit and Yoshi. Beautiful first collection. Let's, uh, let's just dive right into the second. And this is from Jordan. Jordan, we have done probably about a dozen deals over the years through the mail. And uh, Jordan has the hookups on Pokemon items, Pokemon DVDs especially. But I also bought a complete collection of Pokemon games from him, complete in the box. Some of you might remember that video, but looks like we have out of the gates uh, Pokemon Legends, Arceus, Let's Go Pikachu, Shining Pearl, Brilliant Diamond, Shield, Sword, Let's Go Eevee, darn near every Switch Pokemon game. Fantastic, gotta love seeing that. And with Jordan, we, we have just agreed upon percentages, we worked out deals in advance, so I basically he just sends stuff whenever he gets it and will let me know, hey, something's on the way. There's an Xbox controller, uh, looks like brand new condition. We've got two calculators, TI-89, titanium, and 84 plus, so those are always immediate sellers. And then we've got lots of Pokemon DVDs and Blu-rays, um, sealed on the first two, then some used DVDs, some used Blu-rays, but nice, the triple movie collection, gotta love seeing that one. This is just good stuff right here. The last two are sealed right there. More sealed. First two sealed, second is not. Or third is not. Three sealed Pokemon Blu-rays. This is good, good whatnot stuff. People are always asking if we have more Pokemon DVDs. And I'm like, I don't know if Jordan's gonna send me some. <laughs> uh, but some are sealed in here, some are not. Just a, a good mix of like all the Pokemon stuff. And then I'll bring you guys over and show you the last of it. And here you have it. Amazing stuff, including the OG Indigo League with three sealed, yep, three sealed DVDs on the inside. The outer box not sealed, but the three inside are. And more sealed over here. These four are sealed. And then these are all used. But people will be super excited about these. Um, and just so you guys know, the majority of the games here will be in our January 19th auction on One Dot. And then a lot of these will be sprinkled in to afternoon auctions, which we do a lot of times Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from like 11 a.m. Um, for about three hours usually. Um, so bookmark all of our shows if you're over on Whatnot. We're always selling good stuff, and we're selling it quick, and these Pokemon DVDs will be included. Everything was great with John's collection, so I ended up giving him 50 extra dollars just to show a little bit of gratitude with the packing job, the accuracy of the deal, and the quickness with shipping. But these I'm gonna be adding to the January 19th auction shelf. All of those that you see right there, beautiful games in the box, everything complete except for Yoshi's Island. Uh, and then these I'll be selling probably today uh, on whatnot. So we'll see how those go. Gonna add this to my uh, shelf to complete Super Nintendo sim systems. I bundle Mario World with my SNESs and uh, I'll get these added. And the deal with Jordan is also settled through in 20 extra bucks to that deal because he's always sending quality, clean stuff that's easy to sell. Um, and then Pokemon games, um, paying 65% on these. Um, so I'm adding these to the Pokemon shelf for the January 19th show. And we actually really didn't have like any Switch Pokemon games yet for it. So that works out fantastically. Jordan, thank you for the deal. Well, another deal just came in. Brother Dave went to the P.O. Box. Small package here, but this was, I think, around a $200 deal. Condition was a huge factor, including some stuff that'll need repairs like this Game Boy. Sound does not work. Game Boy Pocket has some screen issues there. And then the Star Wars is, like, the, one of the only cartridges in great condition. Mario Deluxe is okay. Pinball is missing the cover. And then lots of Pokemons in rough shape. But actually, silver and gold aren't too bad. 
So 200 bucks, kind of as is stuff. We'll get the save batteries replaced and get these ready to auction. We had our whatnot auction pretty successful. Things that we moved that we got today. We moved all of the Pokemon DVDs. I think we cleared doubling up after fees on those. So that was awesome to move them same day. Um, some of the SNES games, like the Qbert 3 from that collection, people are loving these things, eating them up, just because the condition, you know, I pulled them out of there. They were absolutely stunning and beautiful, fully complete with posters and everything. So those did pretty great, and I was really happy with those. We sold Yoshi, we sold Buster Bust Loose, Le Lethal Weapon, all of those complete from that collection from earlier today, and it was successful. But the main highlight of the auction, it was a $3,800 auction, by the way, um, and it went like... A little over two hours so pretty good hourly uh, rate from our perspective the controllers we sold 70 of the controllers from the two pallets and we got 1400 bucks that's an average of $20 a controller people were getting great deals um, but we were also able to move it quickly it took time to test them and to get them ready but we were able to get 70 done that we just started this morning to test probably two and a half hours of testing time and then maybe an hour total of selling them on stream so on a, on a per unit basis, we're pretty happy with that. And this is something that we can get frequently. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with these results. And that's a day. Matt's been shipping. We have all the boxes you know, over there. We're trying to ship basically next day on everything and whatnot right now. Still can't get that average ship time to update. But we do ship next day on our afternoon auctions on basically everything. So one business day. Um, love this system. It's beautiful. It's organized in here. It's fantastic. And I'm very excited for 2024. Come along with us for the journey. We document the back end of our business frequently on Caterpie Crew. We're going to be doing more videos here. Let me know what you want to see and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.